Welcome to the 19th tutorial on beginning CSS. In the last several videos, we've looked at the box model and we've added some content, of course, some padding, uh, some borders, as well as altering the margin. And of course, the content was just simple text. In this video, we're going to actually add an image to our web page, and then we're going to apply some padding and a border to that image, as well as work against the margin again. So I want you to add an image to our website folder. I actually downloaded this Barracuda image um, from Wikipedia. So you can go ahead and get that image if you want. I think you just have to search on Barracuda. And if you do that, I want you to open this up in Microsoft Paint, and you can reduce the image in there by 50%, and that way it'll fit nicely uh, on the web page. Um, but like I said, you don't have to use this image. You could use really any image of a fish if you want. Just copy it to the website folder. We want that in the root directory. Okay, and as you know from the HTML series, if you watch that, we have to add the image to our HTML first. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's maximize this. And let's put this image in between this paragraph, our first paragraph, and our H2 header element. And I've already uh, typed this out, so I'll just copy and paste this in here. Okay, so let's break this down now. Here is the IMG tag. Now the IMG tag is what defines the image in our HTML page. And think of it as the holding space for the image that we're going to be using. I also want to point out that there is no closing tag for the IMG tag. So we only need one tag. Now the class that we're going to use to style our image is going to be called image C right here. And we'll put that into our style sheet in a minute. And this is the source attribute, SRC. And this is where we put the name of our image, which of course is barracuda.jpg. And as I said before, we want to put that in the same folder that we have our style sheet and our HTML document. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll close this out. Now let's open up our style sheet. And actually, before we do that, let's open up our web page. And there you can see we've got the image of our Barracuda. And it's right between the paragraph, like we wanted, and the second header. And you will remember that HTML paints everything in a top-down order. So the first item that gets painted is the H1 header, and then the second paragraph, and then the third item, of course, is this image of this Barracuda. Now let's go ahead and first actually we're going to play around with the margins because we want to center this image. We don't want this image residing on the left side of our web page. We want this actually centered and there's a good way to do this using margins. So let's go ahead and close this and we'll open up our style sheet and we're going to go down here and let's actually get rid of this space here and let's go ahead and create our image class. And that of course is the name that I used in the HTML. And of course we need our squiggly bracket and let's go ahead and put in some properties. Okay, so we're gonna type in display and block. Now I don't want you to worry about the display property right now. I'm gonna do a future video on this. So you don't really have to be concerned about this right now because this is a video on the box model. And we're gonna type in the margin hyphen left. And of course we used that in the last video and we're gonna set this to auto. Now that we didn't do in the last video. So this is a new value that we're looking at. And let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And then the right side will get the same value as well. Now, of course, in the last video we were using pixels. Now what this does is it allows us to center this image. And of course the content this time is the image. So when you set the left and right margins to auto, that specifies that they should split the available margin space equally. And the result is a centered element. And this is really the preferred way to accomplish horizontal centering with CSS. So you can save this code uh, from this video. And that's the key to CSS. You can save all of the code that you put in here that do various things for other websites, other web pages. That's really the beauty of CSS. So if you get a configuration that you like, save it and then name it uh, appropriately. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's open this up. And there you can see we've got a centered image. And that looks pretty nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and add some padding and a border to our image. And with images, generally you want to use a smaller amount of padding. So let's just go ahead and use 3px and we'll see how that looks. And let's give a background color of silver. 
So instead of using a hex code, we're just going to use the actual name of the color. And then let's go ahead and use these uh, same borders here. And uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll just use these same values. So let's save this. Whoops. And we'll open this up. And there you can see we've got a nice border with a little bit of padding around our image. Okay, that is going to do it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video.